So a couple of weeks ago, Bungie started teasing Pantheon, which is a raid, gauntlet, boss, rush type game mode. And that's really all we found out about it. Except when they updated Into the Light yesterday, we got a lot of information in the API. So this is not publicly released information from Bungie. They'll talk about it in the TWAB either tomorrow or next week or something in the upcoming weeks. Uh, but this is public in the sense that they didn't hide it in the API. You can see all the rewards and stuff. And so we're gonna break it down, but if you don't wanna hear about any of that stuff, uh, I would click off the video. All this information is coming to us from JP Deathblade and Harry2533 uh, over on Twitter. The first thing uh, JP found out that we get a title from this, God Slayer. Uh, easily the coolest title in the entire game. The seal looks amazing. God Slayer's insanity. Um, and this is launching on April 30th, by the way. I don't think I talked about that. And then Harry actually has this huge breakdown of everything this is. Uh, this is subject to change. This is all API information, so it could change. But essentially what this is, is that there are eight bosses in order. And depending on which version of the gauntlet that you pick, you go through X number of bosses. Uh, there are four main versions of this. So let's go through the eight bosses uh, in order. Golgoroth, Caretaker, Zorark, which is the um, Explicator in uh, Root of Nightmares, Atrax 1, uh, Oryx, Rolk, Riven, Nezarek. So uh, some of the best bosses and encounters in the entire game, right? Uh, based off of which of the four modes you pick, you have to go through a different number of bosses at a different light level. So there are four difficulties. Uh, the first one is Atrax Sovereign. Uh, you only have to do the four first four bosses and you're only five power under light. The second difficulty is Oryx Exalted. You do the first five bosses at 10 under light. The third one is Rolk Indomitable. Uh, 15 under light, you only do the first six boxes. And the final one, Nezarak Sublime. You do every single boss, all eight bosses in contest mode. Um, I assume if you wipe, you'll be kicked to orbit, but I actually don't think we know that yet. Uh, and it's just doing this insane gauntlet. Um, the one thing that we are unsure of, do all four of these gauntlets launch at the same time? All they say in the TWAB is that the new raid boss gauntlet starts on April 30th. You have the opportunity to face raid bosses in a weekly challenge with escalating difficulties and rewards. So to that, to me, that kind of reads like, okay, the first week you'll do four, next week you'll do five, then six, um, and they'll unlock it one week at a time. Or that could just mean, hey, you can do a gauntlet once a week and get the rewards. We'll see. There's a lot more awesome information. So based off of which of these you beat, you get a sick emblem. So if you do the first difficulty, you just beat the first four bosses. The last boss in that is Atrax, uh, five under light. You get the Atrax Dethrone emblem, which I mean like, come on. If you do the next difficulty, where it's the first five bosses at 10 under, you get the uh, Exalted Beyond Oryx emblem, which, uh, come on. You know, like what? What? If you do the third one, Rolk Indomitable, uh, first six bosses, 15 under light. Oh, come on, come on. And the next one is gonna be the Pantheon. This is the very final one, Nezarek Sublime, where you do all eight bosses, 20 under, you get elevated above Nezarek. Um, come on, like what? the heck and i think this actually has all the raid bosses in it so like here's rolk here's oryx uh it's hard to tell all the rest that's definitely uh nezarak this is riven i'm trying to find atrax oh atrax is right there explicator probably that one i don't know hard to tell but it's got all the bosses in it in a very stylized emblem anyways unbelievably sick it's four of the coolest emblems we've ever had uh cooler than a lot of the day one emblems very cool uh there will be fire team finder it's not match made uh supposedly um all four modes have a 10 percent increase to void solar arc stasis and strand weapon damage multipliers those might be randomly uh associated every week though we'll have to see all modes have a modifier called shot caller landing multiple precision hits with a primary ammo weapon and power special and heavy weapons reduces incoming damage uh for a while this is actually kind of similar to being a or a transcendent with the new prismatic subclasses um and god slayer will require 10 triumphs supposedly according to the api um 
there will be one for completing each of the modes and one for completing each of the modes with a high score. So these are scored and it seems like you get more score the faster you complete each encounter. There's kind of like a speed run aspect to it as well. Uh, and then there's like a total points uh, across all encounter two of them to get the God Slayer title. We are going for this. It also looks like they might drop uh, adept weapons as well. So, I mean, that's kind of the breakdown. Bungie will break down some of the more specifics whenever they announce it. But I mean, this is some of the coolest stuff I have ever seen four of the most cool emblems the coolest title god slayer god slayer is absurd um and i'm sure there might be other rewards and stuff that we'll get to learn about so this is one of the coolest things bungie's ever added to the entire game uh thank these two uh harry and, and jp for you know helping us find out a little bit more i'm so excited for this uh, let me know your thoughts down below have a great day